Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Farmer Jolly and this is our Let's Play series on Court Farm. Nearly forgot which map we were playing then. Um, we are carrying on pretty much exactly where we left off. We just grabbed the Massey in the trailer and it's unloading. We're going to let the, let the Combine completely unload. We're going to set it off on a worker. It might miss some, it might decide to change its angle. But we're going we're gonna to go with it. Because the forecast is calling for rain later on in the day. And we've got two fields we need to get harvested. So we can't afford to be sat. Oh, it might actually continue. No, it's going to move. That's fine. It's only going to be a little bit that we have to come back and collect. If anything. Yeah, a little bit. So we're going to let this worker continue. And we are going, oh actually let's jump back there, turn these lights off, there we go. We're going to jump into this, which is our potato harvester. And it is absolutely massive as you can see. So hopefully it's going to do exactly what we need if I can get through the gates. and allow us to harvest these potatoes. Now we probably won't do potatoes very, again, very soon, but it depends how profitable they are. Now we're gonna have to sell them straight away because we don't have any way of storing them. One thing we do need to do actually is check a the um, used machinery, but also, okay, that can hold it. Okay, we might use the silage trailer because it can hold potatoes, apparently. And that's fine. I want just so I had a thought that the R2 trailers what I'm going to be able to uh, hold potatoes, and then we've got no way of selling them. But it looks like we do. I rarely do potatoes, so I don't actually know the correct way of doing them. I believe this machine will just do everything in one go. But we will soon find out. It's uh, got a good speed to it. We can go 37 miles an hour. But we are filling the road quite a bit. And it's very quick on its steering. It won't take us, as long as we can get around these corners and down this lane, it won't take us too long to get back to the yard now. Okay, it's actually got really good steering. <laughs> I, I'm really impressed with this machine. Oh gosh. I'm hoping there's not a fence in the uh, hedge. Oh, oh dear. This is why we don't do potatoes anymore. Oh, I say anymore. Why I don't do potatoes? Because the equipment just doesn't fit down the lane. <laughs> I know there's smaller equipment, but it just, I think, if I remember correctly, it just takes so long. Oh, at least we made it. Okay. Let's fly over to this field. I don't know how long this field's going to take. So, I'm assuming we need to unfold everything. So, it unloads on that side. It's okay, so the header's actually now folded. So, let's unfold the header. Leave that on for a second because I don't know how quickly it's going to 
filth, the machine. Now, potatoes aren't the highest profitability wise, but they effectively were a free crop. I'm hopeful that we'll get at least two headlands done before we have to unload. I'm hopeful we'll get more done, but it's got a good yield, which is brilliant, because obviously the higher the yield, the more we're able to make. Now, one thing I'm going to do really quickly, actually, because I can already tell this is going to take a long time, is how much is the lorry that we were looking at in the last episode. So, if you didn't see the last episode, we're going to be getting, a at some point, a truck and a trailer. So, we could go for that, but the International... Yes, it has less horsepower, but it's also a fraction of the price. So, the question is, do we go for the International? So that's going to be 34,200, and the trailer that we were looking at, I believe can hold potatoes, let's just get to it there, yep. So that's going to be, so that's going to be a hundred and approximately a hundred and thirty thousand. So, what is the if I put that in, if I can, and let's do it over five years. Okay, that's doable. What if I increase it to 10? Because I can pay it back quicker. That... I think we'll do that. We've, so we've taken out another loan, but we are going to finally be able to transport our crops much quicker. We just need to be careful we don't run out of money so let's we will be going for the international and we will be leaving I think pretty much everything a stock Ooh. I think we're going to for a uh, let's put that to normal. Oh, that is normal. There we go. We will have a quick look and see if we can just change the colour. That that looks quite good. I think we'll go for that. Right. Oh no, not yet. We need to change the design colour. What can we put that to? Black, yeah, and rim colour. I think chrome blackout would look good. There we go. Right, let's buy it. Right, there we go. So, let's crack on and get as much of this field done. We probably should just check. Okay, that's okay. It will. Let's. While it's there. It will finish that line because it's got 80% already. So we will let it finish this row and then unload it. Because at least that way. it will be able to finish this field. I'm also quite surprised at how easy the potatoes are seeming to be. So that should then drop back and sense that I'm here. There we go. So 
So when this gets to about 70-ish percent in the trailer, that's when it will be full, or when that number stops going there, uh, or when the combine's empty, sorry, not full. When that number in the bottom goes down a lot slower, then we know we're good. It's really about 74-ish percent. Nope, 72, there we go, right. Let's crack on. I said, I said I'd see you when uh, we'd got a full um, trailer load. I didn't realise that one trailer load would... Or one um, harvester load would fill the trailer. Which means we've got our work cut out for us big time. Where is the best sell point? Let's have a quick look. So we don't. It doesn't actually going to tell us there. Potatoes. So we've got two ninety. But I have a feeling that's going to be quite a trek. Let's have a quick look. Okay, it's not too bad actually, because we're currently in this field. We could potentially go through Court Farm area here, and then the cell point and then swing back down that might work let's line this up and set this up on a worker we might have to come back and collect some bits but we will see it might just yeah it's going to miss a little bit but that's fine I can live with that it's whether it can turn itself around because I've not even done two headlines and it's going to run over bits. Okay. We will have a change of plans. That's just, I'm not stopping them just yet and now. Right. Didn't want to stop him where he was because or they where they were. Let's go five, I think. And first I didn't want to stop them where they were because I thought if well if I did, we would run over the crop and lose it. So 
they will continue as they are, it's going to take quite a while, but we are going to run the effectively grain trailer. Just need to zoom out of it so I can see what I'm doing. There we go, right. Now hopefully the lorry has enough power I'm starting to regret this lorry now be interesting to see how much one trailer load of potatoes gives us if we, give, if we get enough we might sell this lorry and buy a, buy a more powerful one but at least we can utilize the um, <laughs> this area to get in and out easily without having to fight through narrow gateways. I keep forgetting I want to change gear in this lorry as well. It's not an automatic, which is why it might be, even though we've just bought it, it might be more beneficial to look at getting the new Volvo we will, before we decide any of that we need to work out or see how much we're going to get from this one trailer load so we've got nearly 60,000 litres of potatoes and they're selling for just under £300 per thousand litres Uh, yeah, this is going to be difficult because we can't even see the cab over the back of this trailer. Which is a shame. Thought would be okay. Don't really want to have to take out another bank loan especially we've already taken one out in this episode but I think the trailer is just a bit too heavy when it's fully loaded because I'm only in second gear and I'm really struggling So you've got 74,000 approximately. That's going up really nicely. Okay. That's good. So we've got nearly just under 20,000 really. So let's have another look, so that will get 27 back for that and how much is so another trailer load and we'll be able to get this and if we buy it we can upgrade it I think we'll have to start off with everything basic really as nice as it would be to uh, have it full straight away we will need that bale still there uh, we will need to just go basic to start with so let's get back to the field and get another trailer load right we're just uh Dumping the second load, which should push us over a hundred thousand. Hopefully, over a hundred and ten, actually. Or nearly a hundred and ten. Nearly a hundred and ten. Right. Let's have a quick look. So we know we're going to go for this. Let's take that off for now. 
160, so we're not going to have enough for that. What, uh, hang on, the area parts have been added on. Let's just put everything down to zero. So, 150, so we're not going to have enough for that, but we can still buy it if we sell this cab. So let's run and do that. As nice as this cab is, it's it's just not right for this farm. I should have got the other one straight away. But we live and learn. At least we're making a decent amount of money to be able to do this. We could even pay a chunk of the loan back as well when we finish the field. Which would be brilliant. So, we'll drive this back to the store. Luckily we're not too far away and we'll get that bigger Volvo, which is more suited to this map anyway. But, why can't I stop? That was uh, fun. Stuck on. And we're stuck on that gate. There we go. You know what? Let's leave. Let's just leave the trailer there. Just oh, why? I don't know why the collision on that car is quite far out. But let's just cruise round. And straight into here. shouldn't have bought this one. Oh well. Well, might as well repair it. Oh, can't, I'm not allowed to repair it. Okay, let's just sell it. So we've got 30. Right, so we're going to have no money. But let's run into here. Find how much was that one? That's got 500 horsepower. Okay, but this one has more, and we can upgrade it. So we we'll, we will go for this. So we're gonna have to take the XL off, those off, take off the additional mirrors because we. And one thing I'm going to do is I will change the license plate just so it's a bit more fitting. I wanted to start with a 7 really. Okay. Nearly. I know it started with a 7 but the way our number plates work in the UK that will do. Um, it means that that was wasn't even out yet, so we'll go for that, and we will buy it outright, which means we have pretty much no money in the bank. But we do have a very nice lorry. Like I said, the other one was lovely, but wasn't fit for purpose and this is the same so it's uh, got gears <clears throat> I 
which is a bit of a pain. I don't like playing with the uh, gears, but oops. There we go. That's better. It looks looks a bit better as well. Oh, it does have beacons. Cool. Hopefully, it's just going to be a little bit more stable. That looks really cool inside. I'm uh, very impressed with this. We're probably speeding through this village a bit too quick, but I'm sure, I'm sure no one's going to mind. probably would mind but oh well we've done it anyway so yeah it's uh, still going to be a big job getting all of the um, potatoes sold but hopefully it will be a little bit easier with this lorry And the potato harvester is waiting for us. Why am I not underneath it? Not quite. Bring up the hut because I can't see when I'm in reverse. Now are underneath it, so why have you stopped? What is going on here? Let's just turn that off. Thank you. And we should have about 600 litres left. No. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't um, full. It stopped at ninety-five percent. That's fine. Right. You can continue. So, because I know we're not going to get anything else in this, let's. Been around, chuck our beacons on, and go and get some more money. It's an absolutely massive field, and at least we're getting some good money from it. Also, by having the uh, tractor unit and this trailer means when we come to selling things like the straw we are going to find it that much easier because it can hold more than what we can at the moment we could look at upgrading the trailer at some point but for now this will be ideal I can tell it there's a lot of weight in the trailer because the uh, lorry flew down here with when it was empty, but we're now not even at 30, well, just got to 35 miles an hour. And we're in 12th gear. So let's turn down here. So I think it's going to be about 18,000 per trailer load. I know this one's not full, but we might. Be able to actually we will because the camera system is not activated. We will be able to see exactly how much money we make. Or 
we get there. And so, <laughs> I can already tell it's a much better lorry having this one. Which is ideal. And we, the fact that we can upgrade as well. I know we can upgrade the old one, but this is more fitting as well and just looks better on the uh, this type of trailer. Right, let's unload and see how much we get. Nice, good amount, please. That's looking promising. 16,000, well, including the environmental score, about 17,000 for a nearly full trailer load. That's pretty good going. Right. We'll get a couple more trailer loads done and see where that takes us. So, see you in a bit. Well, we've uh, got another load done, but it's a mammoth job. So I think I'm going to have to crack on with this off screen to get it done. The potato harvester is flying through the work, which is brilliant to see. But it's a big job. It's made a lot easier by having the lorry, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's a massive job. Probably won't be doing potatoes again in the near future. We will look at probably going back to them. But right now, it's probably not the best decision. At least the only saving grace is we've made our money back from hiring the from leasing the equipment. So if we can get back over we can get over 80,000 or 90,000 just from the potatoes after we've obviously spent a bit more on the machinery on this lorry that would be ideal because it means we've covered our costs but it's getting through it has missed a few little bits but I don't think we're going to get masses out of these I think it's just got full. So we shall pull up underneath it and I don't know why it just decides it doesn't like unloading. Well, there you go. Don't drive forwards. There we go. Get that done. There we go. Right. So, I think we'll call it there for this episode. As always, I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have... It would mean a great deal if you'd be able to like the video and even subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It, Like I say, it really does mean a lot to me that people are enjoying these videos. I'm loving making them. I just need to learn to A, stop crashing so much and B, stop spending so much. But hopefully we'll get there. So no, like I say, I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode and hopefully we'll see you back here for the next one. Bye for now.